When you're sad and when you're lonely and you haven't got a friend, just remember that death is not the end. My name is Elena Pakutova, and I'm a senior curator at the Rubin Museum of Art and curator of this exhibition. Death is Not the End explores notions of death and afterlife through the art of Tibetan Buddhism and Christianity. It invites contemplation of the universal human condition of impermanence and the desire to continue to exist. Buddhist and Christian cultures accept death as a fact of life but also present the idea of the afterlife in various forms tied to the transitional existence with the eventual relief from suffering. These views refute the permanence of death while accepting that it is inevitable. Death is not the end considers the ideas that balance this apparent contradiction and reconcile living with one's mortality. 58 objects spanning 12 centuries, prints, paintings, sculptures, illuminated manuscripts, and ritual items. It is organized in three themes, and the design, transitioning from darker to lighter tones, structures the movement through the exhibition's narrative. Two ephemeral portals indicate passing from one state of existence to another. The death is not the final destination, implying hope. The human condition. To reflect on the passing nature of life, visitors are invited to contemplate their loss by writing the name of a person or a memory, then rake the sand to dissolve it and consider a path forward. Let's take a look at the art. This painting conveys the Buddhist view of the cyclical process of life, death, and rebirth. The Lord of Death, Yama, grips all of life in his jaw. The central circle depicts the root causes that drive the endless cycle, which are attachment, represented by the rooster, anger, the snake, and ignorance, the pig. These afflictions drive beings to perform actions, karma, that affect where they are born next, as gods and demigods, humans, animals, hungry ghosts, and hell beings. Such painted reminders encourage people to work for future good rebirth and eventual liberation from this cycle. This print is a memento mori, which translates as remember you will die. It's a reminder to live a life that would help one's entry into heaven. The artist's attention to the gory details of a rat burrowing into the corpse and snakes emerging from the skull convey the idea that life in the mortal body is transitory and a preparation for an afterlife. Perhaps nothing can rival the fear of facing death head on. But according to Buddhist tantric texts, Manjushri, the deity of wisdom, did just that. To defeat Yama, the Lord of Death, Manjushri assumed this fierce form, surrounded by flames of wisdom, adorned with skulls and a garland of severed heads. He stands astride a buffalo and a human corpse. Here we see the depiction of the Inferno. The devil is a central figure who consumes the souls of the damned. A large mouth on his abdomen ejects the ingested souls and the cycle of torture repeats. The torments show a perceived relationship of punishment to the sins committed in life. States in between, or the concepts of limbo, purgatory, and bardo. According to Buddhist belief, at death in the state in between two lives, or bardo, the consciousness can reach awakening and break the cycle of rebirth. But karma brings up various visions if one does not recognize them as projections of the mind, the opportunity is lost. This painting illustrates the experience between death and rebirth when visions of light appear in the form of peaceful and wrathful deities, encouraging the mind to realize the true nature of these visions and become free. 
just a glimmer of such recognition may avert rebirth in the lower realms of existence. These next two images depict divine intervention in one, a Buddha's blessings free people from hell, and in another, Christ leads the souls out of limbo. Afterlife focuses on resurrection, ideas of transformation, and heaven. This bronze relief depicts the risen Christ above a broken tomb, surrounded by rays of divine light. One hand is raised in a gesture of blessing, and the other holds a victory banner. The nearby guards fall over in awe. The composition expresses the moment of triumph of death. In this uniquely composed miniature, heaven is waiting for humans, as the depicted events need to occur so that human souls can enter. This divine abode is a pure realm of Avalokiteshvara, a deity of compassion. The open gate is inviting, and people are crossing the bridge to this pure realm island. When visitors leave the exhibition, I want them to think about this famous quote. In the end, it's going to be okay. If it's not okay, it's not the end.